Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we had a great question on one of our videos. We were showing how to hide and show a, top, a section with a button click. And pretty straightforward, really easy to do. And the question that kept coming up a few times is, okay we can do it with one but can we do it with you know, two or three different ones? And the answer is, of course, yeah, you can. And I'll show you exactly how you do it. It's really easy. I've got three little sections right here on our page. And I can toggle them on and off with my little three buttons here in any order that you wish. So let's get started. Now, the code we use for this is exactly what we used last time. And I'll put this link below the video here. It's from W3Schools really nice bit of simple code to do the job with. Like I say, I'll put this below the video. So let's go back to our theme and I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once the builder is enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll get rid of this little button section. Well, I'll get rid of the buttons. I've just got a row in here. Let's get rid of the whole row the row there. I'll leave the sections here, the purple, the green and the blue, all they are is a section with a blurb in there just for demonstration. And each of these sections I've given a unique ID and I'll show you what that is. If I go into the section, the little cog on the blue tab, and we go over to advanced CSS ID and classes, I've given this purple one the CSS ID of section one. And you can probably guess what's coming next. Next one I've given a CSS ID of section two. And guess what I've given the third one? Yep, that's it. It's got the CSS ID of section three. Okay, so they've all got a unique ID. In other words, they've got a unique name that we can call each of them. Now, let's put a row back in here for our three buttons. Uh, inside, I'm actually going to put a code module. And inside the code module, I'm going to go back to my W3 school page. And I'm going to take the button code from the top here. Control C to copy. And back to our code block here. Control V to paste. And I'm going to drop down just a couple. I go back to W3 schools. I'm going to take the script. And again, control C to copy. Now, as this is script, I want to put it in some script tags. So I'm going to open and close and paste it in between those open and closing script tags. There we go. Now, if we, we look at this, Here's our button, it just says click me, on click, my function. So this is my function, the script right here underneath. Now let's say section one for the name. Or whatever you want to put in there, obviously. And it says get element by ID. Now the ID I gave mine was section one, section two and section three. So let's go in there and change this to our names. Sec one. Make sure you don't lop off those inverted commas there. You want to make sure you keep the inverted commas either side. Okay, let's just save this. Save our page changes and see if it's going to work. Okay, let's exit the visual builder. Go down to our button and click it. And as you can see, that purple section disappears. Now that's not the most interesting button in the world, so we can give it a little bit of styling. I'm using the Google Chrome browser here with the great inspector tools. So let's see what I want to do. There's a the button. Let's go up so we can actually see it. I'm going to give it a blue background. I'm 
I want to make it bigger than that, so I'll need to give it some extra padding. And we'll say 15 top and bottom, 15 pixels top and bottom, and 25 maybe, left and right. Okay, and I just want to make that text white. So we say color. FFF. Obviously, you decorate your button how you want to. I just thought that was a little boring right there. Okay, so now we've got what we want. Let's just copy that. And to actually target this, we need to give it a CSS class. And I've actually already written this for the ones I've written before. And what I did was pasted my CSS that I've just written into my CSS box here, which is down to Divi, Theme Options. We're on the General tab, it's right down the bottom. I gave it a class of SBTN for Section Button. So it's .SBTN, open and close some curlies, and paste in that CSS that we've just done. I don't need to save or do anything because it's already there. I just need to give this that class, SBTN. So let's enable our Visual Builder. Let's create the other two buttons and let's see if we can't make those sections disappear. Okay, now you notice that's gone back to its default state because I didn't, it's within, when you do it in the Chrome browser, it's non destructive, so when you refresh, it's gone. So let's go into our button. Uh, what I've got to do this time is actually write it into the code here. So I'm going to say button just after button and before on click. Let's give it a space, go back one. And I'm going to say class equals open code, close some inverted commas there, and SBTN. And it should change automatically. SBTN. There we go. So we've applied our CSS. Fantastic. Only other thing, let's go to design, let's go to text and pop that button in the middle by using the center align right there. Fantastic. Good. So now we've done that, we can clone this button. If you roll over the module tab, which is this dark one, hit the two squares there, it'll copy it. And I'm going to do that twice. And it doesn't matter which one you drag over because they're all exactly the same for the moment. Now the thing to remember here is the unique IDs we gave our sections, section one, section two, section three. So we need to go into our second one and change a few things. For a start, the name is gonna be section two. And I'm gonna call my function down here, my function two. So just before the round brackets there, I'm just gonna put a two in. And then just before the round brackets below where it says my function, I'm going to put the two in there also. And get element by ID, that's got to be number two as well. Let's save that and move on to the third one. Let's go in there and do exactly the same thing. This time I'm going to call it three. On click my function three. Section three is the name on the button. Here it is, what function three, my function three, so we want to put a three there. And get element by ID, section three. Save that. Save our page changes. Exit the visual builder. Go down to where we were, and let's see if this is going to work. I'll pull it up just a little bit more so we can see all the sections. Okay, section one, boom, gone. Section two, gone. Section three, gone. Section two, back. Section three, back. One. Simple as that. It really is. All you have to do is give them unique IDs and change your function ID inside there. It really is that simple. So I hope that's answered your question, and I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.